Good morning. Right now it's 10-12 on a Wednesday. I'm excited. We have some guests. We have a full studio, and I'm not by myself anymore. <laughs> so we're going to be learning about everything that's going on in the Texas City Lamarck Chamber of Commerce. I'm going to go ahead and throw us on the FM, and um, we're going to be learning about a bunch of opportunities for you to get involved. Maybe you um, have a business, or you're looking to join the chamber, or you can benefit from knowing one of these people and businesses. Here we go. Good morning. This is KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. It's 1013. This is Kickstart. My name is Gardy, and I have Lauren Perez from the Texas City Lamarck Chamber of Commerce here in studio. Lauren, how are you doing today? I am doing great. I'm glad that you're here. <laughs> how was your Christmas? Uh, it was actually very relaxed and uneventful, which is perfect. Yeah, it was really great. That's good. Yeah, hanging with the boys and the family and everything. So, yeah, it was awesome. Very cool. So we have some guests in studio, and you brought you brought some friends. We have Josh, yes, hanging out. So how long have you known Josh? I've known Josh for a couple of years. Uh, I actually bring my vehicles to Chapman's front end and brakes. So he's awesome, and he's also one of our board members, and has been pretty heavily involved in the chamber. Uh, he's also part of the golf committee for our annual golf tournament. So he's pretty involved, and uh, yeah, his business. Chapman's front end and brakes has always been super reliable and taking care of all of my cash cars and, you know, work, yeah. work vehicles, all that other kind of stuff. So, mm -hmm. yeah. so Josh, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Doing good. Where are you from? Uh, I am, well, several places. I was born in Lamarck, lived, grew up in West Texas City. West Texas City was actually Lamarck School District. And so I went to Lamarck schools instead of Texas City schools. And then we ended up moving. I actually graduated from uh, O'Connell in Galveston. So okay. I've been, been a little bit here, a little bit there. What year did you graduate? 1996. So O'Connell has been there for years. Yeah, it was. And it's, a, it's, a great, it's been a great school. And it is, yes. you know, still is a, a good yeah. school. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it used to be Kerwin. Uh, my, actually, my father-in-law graduated from there. Um, I don't know where year that would have been, running around 70, 68, 70 back then. Yeah. Um, still going strong. Smaller school. Um, I think I've had 47 kids in my graduating class. So yeah. Small school, but we're all so close still. It's something that, that we didn't really get. Um, like in a public school, you get to know those people so well and stay in contact with them still today. Yeah. So how long has Chapman's front end and breaks been there, and how long have you been working at the business my grandfather opened the shop in 1959 and back then it was just a two-lane dirt road um we were on the outskirts of town if you're familiar with texas city uh sixth street where they're trying to uh they're doing so much rejuvenation with uh, uh you know the hay mikey's and the sixth street garage and um downtown and and they're doing they just got a bakery down there and mm -hmm. they're doing so much work uh manny el cubano has his shop down there and um that that was downtown and so we were on the outskirts of town it was like the furthest place to go and everybody said hey that's why are you building so far away out there and so uh, uh my grandfather built it and now we're right smack dab in the middle of town so i guess he had a uh, pretty good vision back then so yeah so your family y'all are all from from this tech city lamarck area mm -hmm. yeah yeah uh, my dad graduated from lamarck um I started working at the shop. It was my summer jobs, like in junior high and in high school. Uh, basically, if I wasn't playing sports, I had to work at the shop. So mm -hmm. I've, I've swept the floors and washed the walls and painted I don't know how many times and picked up tools and this and that. And so I kind of grew up, grew up on that. And then finally, Dad let me start tinkering around and kind of taught me the ropes. And All right. OK. Can you kind of walk through what do you all offer at, at, the, at the business? At the shop? Uh, Alignments and brakes are our two, our, our main bread and butter. So wheel alignments, um, and we do them on all, all vehicles, uh, all makes and models, um, from your little Toyota Corollas up to, you know, a, a F450. You know, we can do the, the one tons uh, and ton and a halfs also. Um, all your brakes, um, suspension brakes, I mean, uh, tie rods, ball joints, shock struts, wheel bearings, axles, air conditioning, pretty much anything except for internal engine and transmission. Uh, do state inspections. We actually have a special going on state inspections right now. It's 2020, so we rang in the new year with state inspections for twenty dollars and twenty cents. All right, so. that's cool. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. You know, is there any, ever anything else that y'all would potentially add? Well, that's where we're we're growing. We've really gotten 
so much growth over the last five to six years. So my dad graduated about, I mean, my dad retired about five, going on about six years ago now. Uh, I've taken over the shop and um, made a lot of big purchases, got new equipment, new, new machines and lifts and this and that. Um, updated the invoice system from old paper invoice to, uh, like Heather knows, you're going from paper to now to computerized invoicing and uh, digital everything. And so, um, you know, we've really grown so much that, that we're looking to hopefully add on to the shop is what we're, what we're wanting to do next. So we're keeping the base full and there's plenty of cars in the parking lot. Now we just need a little, a little more room to work on, work on them all. Yeah, I got you. Okay. So with the Texas City Lamarck Chamber of Commerce, I believe that you're involved with something called Chamber U. Yeah. What is that? Chamber U. So uh, Lauren puts together a great workshop with the chamber, um, and it's really something. It's 20 bucks, and you get to go in, and for an hour and a half, they feed you. and um, they You have get, my attention. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Uh, they feed you, and then they have somebody come in, and they speak on you know different topics. Uh, currently this year, February 18th, um, if you're interested, they have a, a social media, which goes over Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and YouTube and all that good stuff. And uh, it's teaching you how to, uh, you know, drive leads and build brand awareness, you know, with your brand, um, how to nurture key relationships. And it really works. You know, it's it's the chamber focuses so much on small business that it, it really helps out our small business people who really don't get that opportunity as some of the bigger businesses to have these people come and talk um, and meet them and build these relationships. And the chamber works really well as far as putting that together and getting you there and and getting you education on that. Um, so I, the way social media blows up nowadays, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to the social media one. Um, I mean, right now we're on a radio station and we're actually being viewed. So, you know, the, the old saying, you know, you got the face for radio, I guess doesn't really go, <laughs> go so well anymore, but. Yeah, now I gotta uh, make sure my hair is in place yeah, and. I was getting ready today. My, <laughs> I was just gonna come in my regular work clothes because I was at the shop this morning. My wife's like, no, you're gonna be seen on TV. I mean, oh man. Um, so yeah, social media, they have another one coming uh, April 21st on time management. And um, especially for, you know, that, that one really, is, uh, applies to me there's a lot of things um that i feel like i can better myself as far as time management goes uh personal motivation and you know delegating skills so there's so many times when i just like man i could just do it myself and mm -hmm. versus the hassle of you know asking somebody to do it and maybe them not doing it quite the way you wanted it or this or that and so um you know really trying to I, i'm looking forward to hopefully getting a few tips on on learning how to delegate a little bit better and take yeah. some of the stress off of myself yeah. and whatnot. So. And, you know, with a, with a bit, any business, a small business, uh, you know, uh, to a medium sized business, I feel like you have to know who you're delegating to, like trying to find the right person because it's like, Hey, this is, this is everything. You know, yeah. your grandfather started your business. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. you know, it's been successful. Your dad, you know, just recently retired and now it's like, okay, I got to make sure that, you know, I'm delegating in the right place, but it, you could probably do everything in the shop and do it better than anybody else, you know, because you've been maybe doing it longer. Sure. Than them, so. Sure. Sure. Uh, we got an, I got a, a new team uh, just here recently. I got uh, me and my brother. Uh, my, Michael's been with me for uh, ever since he, 20 years, probably pretty close since he graduated high school. Um, so he does really well at, at being able to take care of all facets at the shop also. Um, we do, however, uh, have a couple new technicians and uh, have a new girl work in the office. And so we have, a f what am I, at? five, six, six people now with this. So, cool. you know, for a little bit of shop, it's, it's pretty neat to do. So y'all have been in business since 1959. Do you know how many years y'all have been a member of the Texas City Lamarck Chamber? Uh, that actually is a good question. So it's that actually st started with Thea Choate back in, uh, it wasn't that long ago. Thea was um, with Amico Federal Credit Union, and uh, it was been with the chamber for probably seven, six, seven, eight years, somewhere right in there. And it's funny that's being, you know, in Texas City for so long. If you ever met my dad, he's the man of few words. So he doesn't get out there. He doesn't, you know, talk much, but everybody loved to come into the shop because I knew he was honest. You know, they were going to fix his car, fix it right the first time. Um, and 
so whenever I met my wife, Summer, uh, if you haven't met her, she's a hoot. They, they, <laughs> anybody can vouch for that. Um, she uh, wanted to move back to Tech City. We looked for houses. You know, I was wanting to look in League City and Dickinson, blah, 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 out, outside. And, you know, she wanted to move back to Tech City. And she goes, we got to be involved with the city. And, and she was kind of the one of the ones that, that – uh, or is the one that pushed us to get involved with the chamber and to get out there and mm -hmm. and become more involved with the chamber and the community and and uh, it's really paid off because I mean being just being out there and doing that has really helped you know business boom. All right, so you would recommend somebody to look into the chamber? Absolutely, absolutely. And you know, they say a lot. A lot of people have different views on the chamber, but you actually have. If you don't put anything into the chamber, you won't get anything out of it. Just like in any other business that you have or any other, you know, hobby that you have or anything. If you don't put in the time and put in the effort and work, um, you're not going to get much out of it. But as long as, as – and they understand that, you know, we have kids, we have families. You can't be at every event, every, you know, every time they're having something. And, um, you know, they're real so, – so helpful and just uh, friendly and – yeah. Welcome me with open arms. But there's also so many different events that yeah. go on. So if you can't make one, it's okay. Sure. There's probably going to be one in the next week or maybe even the next day. Yeah, yeah. They actually, uh, what, Lauren, I believe is January twenty, January 30th, the annual banquet yes. is coming up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, the uh, chamber annual banquet is uh, January 30th, and that's kind of a, a big anniversary for us. Last year, we won Small Business of the Year at the uh, annual banquet. With That's the chamber, cool. So. And you gave the best speech ever. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. What was it? It was a really great, heartfelt, inspiring, loving shout out. You know, was it like shout thank out you? His, <laughs> 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 no, it was awesome. Give a shout out to his, to his wife Summer, and you know everybody was in their fields and huge oh, applause that's cool. after. So it was good. That's it was really cool. Good. <laughs> it was good. So yeah, January thirtieth. Uh, if anybody can make it out, come out, grab your tickets. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, who, do we have entertainment? Who do, who do we have? Yes, this year? we have the Dave Caseras band. So they were actually at our like back to nineteen sixty nine bash and all that kind of stuff. So they're super great, and the theme is Havana Nights. So. Isn't there like a like a dirty dancing Havana Nights like a there remake? is the weird kind of not kind of not that great <laughs> sequel to Dirty Dancing. Why would you Why would you try and do that? Why would you try and make a sequel uh, to Dirty Dancing? Yeah, that was kind of weird. Yeah, but that's the only only place I think I know Havana Nights, and it's just like I don't I didn't see the movie, but I know what the cover looks like. Yeah, I feel what's super cool is one of our Golden Division members is from Cuba. So he's yeah. been giving us the insight on what we need to have there and stuff. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Is there going to be dancing? There's going to be dancing, of course. There's always dancing. I'm going to dress up like that guy. With your rolled up <laughs> sleeves and <laughs> <Yeah>. your... <laughs> I'm going to wear like a white shirt, like really button low. and Yeah. yeah and I'm going to be like, I can't dance. I'm a terrible dancer. <laughs> My wife can dance. You you can do the... I mean, I know she's pregnant, but maybe you guys can do like a an, <laughs> altered, like this. Like an altered, you know, lift in a way. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So my wife's pregnant and she's doing March. So it'll be that'll be a fun experience. Yeah, just like... <laughs> Dancing around, but yeah. Wait till you see uh, uh, Mr. Jose Boyks when she's yeah. he's the one from Cuba. He gets it on the dance oh floor. Oh my goes, goodness! <laughs> they dance all night. <laughs> the That's chamber, awesome. the chamber used to do a uh, Dancing with the Stars uh, a oh. few years back, and uh, we actually, my wife and I, uh, they send you to the Fred Astaire mm -hmm. um, dance school or wherever up in Webster, and so they kind of teach you a dance and whatnot. And uh, Jose and they didn't even like practice they were like <laughs> just showed up. up yeah they just showed up so you know my wife and i were like checking out the competition we're like oh we, we got this we've been practicing uh. in, the, in the living room and all this and so <laughs> uh you know we do our dance we feel pretty good about it and then jose walks out there and yep. they go to town and of course win it so it's pretty phenomenal and people have actually been asking <laughs> about it bringing so, it back yeah bringing it back so y'all sh y'all should do it we're uh tampering with the idea so i'm down to, to help promote it <laughs> and uh, maybe like be a judge, judge. and like there you go. <laughs> if there's like a, I know it doesn't make sense, but when you speak about judge, like I'm down to like eat food and judge it. Yeah, <laughs> we can, we can tie, just tie that in somehow. <laughs> a culinary experience and tied I'm there. in. Yeah, and I am there. Got it. Hey, Josh, is there anything else that you would like to share? Uh, yeah. So, uh, just recently we did our um, it's our Chapman's Community Car Care, and so it was our fourth annual Community Car Care. And so what we do is we put it out on there on Facebook. And we ask people to write in and um, 
share their story with us. You know, if somebody, um, whether it's a family member or a friend or a teacher or whatnot, who's having a little bit of a, a rough time and they can't quite get their, you know, vehicle safe on the road and, uh, um, they write into us and we kind of read through them and we choose uh, three people and we take care of all repairs on the car, parts and labor. And so we're actually just finishing that up. Uh, tomorrow we're finishing up the last car, um, which we did right at $4,000 worth of work um, that we gave back this year to the community. That's so awesome. It's it's pretty, pretty, pretty feels really good. Pretty cool to kind of do that. And, yeah, you know, the community supports us so much. So we try to do as much as we can to give back to the community and sponsor wherever we can and um, helping out the kids you know always sponsoring you know your little leagues your tech city high schools uh, uh, friends through the fight to the cancer um, uh, charity and um, Sam Navarro uh, we were talking about him earlier he does the uh, Lone Star Deluxe uh, which comes in March April April mm-hmm. um, and if you've never been to the Lone Star Deluxe, it's a car show uh, that he does on 6th Street. And they actually shut 6th Street down. And he has 200 cars. And they're all classic cars, 70s, cool. 6 and and earlier. Uh, and he puts on a heck of a show out there. So, you know, we try to help sponsor uh, uh, Sam and Cody and uh, sponsor the Lone Star Deluxe. Um, mainly Mardi Gras is coming up. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jay Carnes puts on a heck of a parade. If you've never been down to Mainland Mardi Gras, uh, it comes February the 8th. Um, they do. They shut down Palmer Highway from 29th Street, which just so happens to be where Chapman's is. And they go all the way down to the showboat on 6th Street. Um, if y'all are around, stop by, pass by the shop. You'll see we set up uh, classic cars all out front. So I call all my customers and I say that all the ones with, you know, old, nice cars. And they bring them out, set up a bunch of cars and throw beads out and yeah. have a good time. Are you into classic cars? Like, do you have one? Man, I don't have one. Everybody says, why don't you have a classic car? You have a, you have an auto shop. But it's kind of like, you know, I, my wife gets to really the shaft because it's, you know, I work on cars all day, and so I don't want to work on my own. I'm like, I'm ready to go home and spend some time with the family and whatnot. Yeah. So so I, I, she's always upset. I'm the last <laughs> one to get an oil change, you know. Like, <laughs> she's like, I'm already 5,000 miles over or something. Oh, so, man. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we have that coming. Um, uh that mainly Mardi Gras is one of the biggest uh, fundraisers for Rotary. They do a gala afterwards, also a nice dance. Um, Bubbles and bling, I believe. Bubbles and beads, I believe, is the the theme this year. Cool, Lauren. Are you the one who comes up with the with the themes like Havana Nights, Bubbles and Bling? Like, uh, no. So the <laughs> no, I do not. Um, I want like a, a Back this... to the Future theme. Something. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, well, and a lot of this stuff, like Texas City, you know, Rotary or, you know, City of Lamarck and all that stuff, we will partner with them or help support them, but it's not necessarily our events. So, gotcha. we're, I mean, we're always supporting and stuff. Um, I would like to take credit for being that creative, but no. I'm just, it's, it's a you. negative. It's you. In my head, it's you. That's just what's. We have to give a shout out to Jessica at the chamber for coming up with Havana Nights for the banquet. I don't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm believing it's you. It's uh, it's you. But there's all kinds of cool events that are taking place, um, and and a lot of stuff that's coming up. And just whenever I thought that we got through the busy season, you know, with the holiday time and mm-hmm. Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's, y'all tell me that it's not over. It's no. just it's just beginning. We are constantly going. All right. Yeah. Cool. Hey, we're gonna take a quick break on the FM. We're gonna keep it going on Facebook. And we're going to keep uh, talking about everything that's going on in the community and with the Chamber of Commerce. It's KHEA Radio, 99.5 FM. Cool. Yeah, we're, still, we're still on Facebook, but okay. we're off of, okay. off of the FM. <laughs> and um, I didn't know, whenever she said, do you have, do you have to leave? No, I got a few. I mean, you know. Okay. Okay, cool. okay cool, cool. All right, sweet. So I'll play this one song. We'll go back on. And then we can start chatting about um, with... Uh, with what Lauren has with the young professionals and what Heather has or no, what Heather has with the young professionals and Lauren has no <laughs> women in business what's going on like who's talking about what I'm getting confused Heather has been in leadership, leadership. three rounds now okay so she was a participant and then she led it for two years so she is well versed in, in the entire leadership program that we have going on okay cool and then of course you know I'll talk about my woman in business which you're still not allowed to attend <laughs> And <laughs> messed up, really. <laughs> and our young professionals that we've got going. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of, like, yeah, so Texas City, 
uh, on, on social media. Again, if you are watching, feel free to share this out. If you have any questions or, or thoughts, let, let me know. Texas City says, hey, we love our small businesses in town. Thank you all for everything you all do for our community, Summer and Josh. Colleen, and Thanks, Colleen Mayer with City of Mark says, you got this, Gardy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Colleen. <laughs> Colleen, you're awesome. She is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, Colleen introduced me to Kiwanis. The Kiwanis so, Club. Yeah. Did you go to Benito's? I did. And that was my first time at Kiwanis and Benito's. So. Oh, Benito's. Did you enjoy Benito's? I did. It's awesome. I like how it's just, I mean, it just feels so local and just everybody's there. It's awesome. I like yeah, it. Yeah. Enrique walks in and he just starts. That's like the kind of restaurant you go to. And if you order something one time, that's what you're getting every time. Pretty much. Yeah. Cause he's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you get a Sprite and you get a water and you bring it out. And um, yeah, I love, I love a place like that where you just walk in and yeah. you know, it's like, hey, well, that's the owner. And they're just, you know, you just know. Yeah. You it was awesome. Get. My mom, my mom actually worked there whenever she was uh, in high school. Oh, really? No way. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> that's cool. She got the uh, she makes the the homemade salsa. So she says she got the salsa from the Ooh. Benito's recipe. Benito's recipe, yeah. and it's probably the exact same like as as it was at Benito's back when your mom yeah. worked, and now and that's yeah, cool. Yeah, it's delicious. That's awesome. I definitely did munch on some chips and salsa whenever I was there. Yeah, I me. Mean, I could go for some right now. All the time. Here we go. I'm going to go back on the on the FM, and we're going to share about everything and leadership. That's what we'll start with. Here we go. <clears throat> Good morning. This is KHEA Radio, 99.5 FM. Right now it's 1034 on a Wednesday morning, and I have Lauren Perez hanging out with us. She is with the Tech City Lamarck Chamber of Commerce. There's all kinds of events going on. Uh, Lauren, how are you doing today? Awesome. I'm doing great. You brought another friend and a mm -hmm. guest here. Can yep. you introduce her? And let me so, know kind of like a little bit what she has going on. <laughs> so this is Heather, and she works with HCA Houston Mainland Medical. I'm always trying to get the name change down. Uh, but she's awesome, and she's always been heavily involved with the chamber. And she's going to go over our leadership program that we have for 2020. It's for anybody who's a chamber member. You can sign up. It's You meet once a month. And it's a great way to kind of just get a feel for what the Texas City and Lamarck communities do and a great way to make connections. So, cool. yeah, she's been a she was actually part of the leadership program and then led it for two different years. So, she's, all right. She knows what what what's going on. Heather, how are you doing today? I'm great. Thank you for having me. Thanks for hanging out. I like your jacket. It's. I am a walking billboard. I'm telling you, <laughs> I love it. I love the new colors. Uh, so, yeah, we're HCA Houston Healthcare Mainland now, so our name has changed. Um, we've rebranded, and so this is the new look, and absolutely, I love it, too. And so. it's Astros colors, so. Yes. It is Astros yes. colors. <laughs> and it's Chapman's colors, too. Chapman's with colors the, too. It is, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, right? This works out. We're and it's color Texas City colors. Yeah. We're color coordinating. Lauren put that together, too. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. So, so leadership, you meet once a month. What other kind of commitment, what kind of time does it take, and what kind of experiences are, are happening if, if you are in leadership? Um, so the first thing um, that you are committed to is a two-day, well, it's like a day-and-a-half retreat. Um, that usually happens uh, end of February, beginning of March, just depending on um, timing. Um, that day is the time for everyone who is in leadership to actually have a, a bonding time, figure out how everybody's leadership styles are. But most importantly, it's a time for you to find out what your leadership style is. So I knew I was a type A personality, but the testing that we took, I'm an eagle. Um, and you find out if you're the weasel. peacock or no, there's no weasel. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's just a time um, for in that that two day retreat or day and a half retreat usually happens at San Luis or um, South Shore, depending on if it's around Mardi Gras time. San Luis is usually booked. Yeah. Um, but um, and you that is a requirement. Um, if you cannot make that two day, then we 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 would ask that you not try to sign up for that year. Yeah. Um, but again, just that opportunity to um, start communicating and, and finding out about who all is in your class. Um, after that, in April, we go to Austin. Um, and uh, this year, that group is in going session. to be very excited because the legislation is, uh, they're in, in session. So you get to, um, when I was there and I went, um, you were actually recognized on the floor. 
by our senators. So um, it was a really great time um, and getting to meet our leaders um, of the state. And then after that, it is a once a month commitment, usually the first or second Friday, depending on what the leaders um, decide. Um, and it's a Friday where we visit all of the different businesses um, throughout the um, community, um, usually the businesses that are part of that are members of the chamber, um, <clears throat> and get to go find out what each business um, does, how it interacts with the community. Um, one of the big uh, things that we get to go is City of Texas City or the City of Lamarck and find out how the city <coughs> is involved or people are involved with the city um, and how it works. Um, find out a lot of things. I grew up in Texas City, born and raised in Texas City, and there were so many things that I learned that I didn't know. Yeah, so. that's cool. So how how would somebody know if they are a good fit for that that leadership course? So if you are in some form um, a leader in your business, so it's usually the businesses that are members of the um, the chamber. If you are some form of a leader, and you don't have to have the title of a leader. We have a lot of people that are within different businesses that don't have a leadership title, but are definitely that leader type um, personality. Um, and you're interested in furthering your leadership. Um, that is uh, what Leadership Mainland is about, is getting connected with your community as well as um, uh, leadership opportunities. Cool. It also seems like it would be good networking. Absolutely. So um, as Lauren said, I was a member in 2017. Um, and then I was the leader in 2018. I passed it off in 2019. However, the leader had to leave the state, and so they asked me to come back. So you're back. I'm back. You're the leader again. <laughs> I'm, well, I, I, look, I just graduated again. <laughs> she graduates again at the banquet. <laughs> so, cool. um, yeah, so definitely I have expanded my networking so much. Um, I now sit on the board uh, for the Tech City ISD Foundation for the Future. Um, I also just, as a matter of fact, today have been uh, seated on the Santa Fe Chamber Board. So it's opened up so many possibilities. The foundation, the foundation board? No, the actual chamber. Of oh, Santa Fe's uh -huh. chamber? Okay, cool. Yeah, so um, we have representation from our hospital and different chambers as well as different um, uh, com uh, community uh, events and stuff. So I'm only one person. I try to go <laughs> so too many things. As a matter of fact, uh, my... Uh, my CNO asked me, let us know if you're stretched too thin. I'm like, no, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, absolutely networking is is huge. Um, yeah. Huge opportunity. You mentioned being from Texas City, growing up in this area. Were you always somebody who, I don't want to say stretch yourself too thin, but like always like volunteered or like, oh, I can do this. I can help there. I can, I can help. I, you know, I, I've been that type of um, personality. I always wanted to do more, just did not know how to get there. Um, I always would see volunteer opportunities, and I'm like, well, how are they getting there? How do they know to do that? What are these things? So that's one of the things that I've learned through leadership also. We go to the food bank. You find out how you can volunteer there. We have, um, you know, go to different businesses and find out, like with Chapman, with them being sponsoring so many different events. You know what these events are, and how can you reach out? How can you help? Um, so, yes, I've always wanted to do it. I just didn't know how until now. Well, what's <laughs> awesome about both Chapman's and, you know, HCA and Heather and all of that is, like we said earlier, <clears throat> we have so many events that, you know, we don't expect all of our members to make every single event because, like Heather, she's involved in so many other things. But it's really awesome to see how Josh and Heather make appearances at events to support or volunteer, whether it's Shrimp Boil. I mean, Josh and Summer bring their kids to a lot of our public events, you know, and they still have fun and help out where they can. And it's awesome, you know, to have that example for their kids, you know, to show up yeah. and, you know, Heather, she pops in and out or sometimes, you know, man, there's been a couple of times where you say, hey, I can help for this slot and then I'm going to go somewhere else, you know. So it's really cool how people and members get involved in a lot of our events. And, you know, mm -hmm. it's it's pretty inspiring because sometimes, you know, I think I'm a little busy, but then I look at Josh and Heather and some other people. I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not busy. <laughs> yeah, you're on the board for the Tech City ISD Education for the Future on the board with the Santa Fe Chamber. Then you have your job. Yeah, <laughs> then you have your job, and she has kids yes. and kids. So what I have you... three jobs. Oh yeah! Oh my goodness! <laughs> what else do you do? She's a fitness, fitness instructor. instructor at World Gym. Yeah. Well, so we're having World Gym in studio, Jessica. Arsenal. I'm going to say at the end of the month. Oh yeah. She's been in once before, and she's a ball of energy. Absolutely. You know, <laughs> she's awesome. Heather wakes up at 
what, like four or something in the morning because her classes are at what five thirty? Yeah. So she's yeah. she's going that early. Yeah. So we're I know we're going to be give, Jessica said, hey, we could give away. I'm going to talk to the GM or, or something. And we can give away some passes. I was like, sweet, let's give away some passes. Can we give away one to me? You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we never have. We never asked that. Yeah. But um, I always want to. You can <laughs> see, like, before you come here, you can go work out with Heather. <laughs> yes. Trust me. She's swole. Oh I know, goodness. like I see pictures. <laughs> I see pictures that she posts, and it's just like you know, like the workout or motivation or mm-hmm. some other stuff. And it's like, <laughs> that's what I need. That's what I need, right? We have a challenge starting January nineteenth. Come what, on. So how long is it? It's an eight week challenge. Um, we have four winners. It's not just weight loss mm-hmm. percentage um, or just weight loss numbers. Uh, there's transformation, muscle gain, uh, fat loss. I mean, uh, inches lost, and then you if you're just do what you're supposed to do the whole eight weeks. You get a drawing chance so you could win so and it's just if you show up you eat right do you get results is it as easy as that it's absolutely as easy as that sounds too easy (laughs) actually it sounds really hard so all of of these fad diets no (laughs) if you want to lose weight it's calories burned has to be more than calories Mm -hmm. taken that's all it's math that's it it's math. If anybody ever needs a security guard and pays very well, no. you should probably look into Heather. <laughs> <laughs> no, That's I'm fun. So, I'm not security guard material. <clears throat> I was just kidding, but she is. I mean, she's a beast. It's awesome. Cool. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I like fitness. I like fitness a lot. Right. So, and I did a. Uh, I do challenges and some other stuff with uh, with some friends at the Iron Den, and so I just got off one in December. It ended right like before Christmas. It was a six week challenge. Where and I and I'm big on uh, eating meal prepped food. I'm not that good at making it myself because it's hard. So, but I can like purchase it all day long. So that's what it's I did. So simple. Well, you know, it <laughs> seems like it is. But here's the thing: like the measuring, it's the measuring for me. Like I'm like, yeah, sure. Now I got a scale, and it's like, yeah, that's totally, you know, six ounces, eight ounces. And I'm like, nah. Like then you start eyeballing <laughs> it, and I'm like, that's you know, 16 ounces. I ate a pound, you know, a pound of of my meat and my protein. But right now, what I'm doing is I I started on Sunday, I started to do the carnivore diet, which I know it may be like a fat or whatever, but I'm only eating meat. What? I'm only eating meat and that's it, and eggs, and butter, like to cook with. But so far I feel great, and and, <laughs> and then I think next week I'm, I'm supposed to start my- uh, Your vegetable only diet? Yeah, and that's prob- <laughs> that's why I, a por- why I started it, because okay. I was like, I wanna see how I feel, and I didn't do blood work before, but I'll, I'll probably do blood work for the vegetable stuff, but. I like to challenge myself. Right. Yeah, you're like right. a human diet experiment. A little bit. Just change it up, yeah. see what you can, what works, what doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, and I don't even know, like I have, I have goals, I guess, but not like anything crazy. I don't know. It's fun to challenge. I, I think it's fun to challenge yourself. Absolutely. So, and you're challenging yourself, you know, for sure. I, I feel like with, uh, what's the other job? So you, you do fitness, you work at ACA, uh-huh. and what's the other? I am a contract uh, clinical instructor for pre-licensure nursing students. Okay. Yeah, so, students that come to uh, the hospital for um, their clinicals. Okay. So, cool. I supervise them. What is the most challenging? What is the most rewarding? I'm sure you like them all, or? I absolutely uh, do love them all. <laughs> um, the most challenging is um, probably my. I, what I call my real job, which is at HCA. So uh, my role is physician support. And he, uh, Josh kind of um, talked about just a little bit, but my role was to convert us from paper charting to electronic charting. Um, and so working with our physicians, getting them to, to understand that technology is their friend um, and technology is everlasting, is always changing. So that would be mostly my, my, my most challenging my most rewarding is definitely the uh, uh, fitness. Um, I had no intentions of becoming a fitness instructor <laughs> whatsoever. And so I blame Jessica. That's all her fault. <laughs> um, and so uh, it's, it's rewarding to be able to motivate and inspire others as well as keeping myself uh, fit as well. And then um, the clinical instructor job, again, that was another I did not – Absolutely. I went to the, it's Western Governors University. I mm-hmm. got my bachelor's and my master's degree through them. And then uh, one of the instructors asked me if I wanted to, to do that. And I was like, sure, why not? And that's not all the time. I don't have, uh, you know, it's not everyday thing. You know, they come, you know, maybe once a quarter, that kind of thing. So 
Um, so the report too, like his. Um, I know a lot of it's online. I looked into to WGU. It looks like a, it's a great school. It's a great you know yes. program. The way that it's all set up and works, but you know with with nursing, you mean clinicals like you right. got to be on like hands on. Right. And they they what they'll do is they'll they'll attend a simulation lab where they are checked off on all of their um, skills, um, so starting an IV, all those types of things, and then once they are they pass that written portion as well as their check offs, then they come to the hospital and they follow one of our nurses. Okay. And so, and they do it for depending on which clinical rotation it is. Usually five or six shifts until their very last clinical, which is um, their role transitions, where they are going from student to actual nurse, and they do fifteen shifts, and they follow the same nurse. I, f- you know, to be a nurse, you have to be a special kind of person. Absolutely. You know, and you, and I realized that whenever my daughter was born being in the hospital, like those shifts are long and it's like nonstop and they are, you get to the point where you want to take the nurse to the house to help. <laughs> you right. <know> everything up. <laughs> That's what my wife was like, do you think they can come with us? I was like, I don't think so, but that would be awesome. And then I, I have to try and fill that role. Mm-hmm. I was like, I can't do that. I'm not, I'm not set up that way. Yeah. You know, I, I can't. And, uh, but you do, you know, you figure it out. And so that's what I'm thinking about now. How awesome. Cause that's where we were at the Clear Lake, what is ACA, mm-hmm. you know, Houston Healthcare. Um, whenever my my daughter was born, that's where we're going to be for my son in March. But that's been, you know, what I've been thinking about and how awesome it was. My labor nurse, when I gave birth to my son in 2005, is what made me decide to become a nurse. Oh, okay, that's awesome. Yeah. So my uh, first my first career was in IT. Um, so now I've been able to, as a nurse, you have so many opportunities, and so I've been able to blend the two. With information technology and nursing, yeah, so the amazing. clinical side, and 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 have a a great job. <laughs> so. mm-hmm. Cool. Right now it's ten forty nine. This is khea radio dot com ninety nine point five FM. Uh, we were just talking to Heather, which uh, Kristen Parrish. I know Kristen, um, and she just said hello yeah. and good morning to you. <laughs> but um, she's a member of the gym as well. <laughs> oh, she is. That's yeah. right. Yeah, I've known Chris. Like we went to high school together, and she's like best friends with my wife. Yeah. But Kristen, she's awesome, and I know she works in the hospital world and works out she and stuff. She works for so HCA cool. as well mm-hmm. in our Southeast Hospital, uh, which used to be Bayshore. Okay. So, all in the family, huh? <laughs> yes. Okay, Lauren, I know that we need to talk about young professionals yep. and women in business. Yep. So, what's going on with, with that? So, the schedule for Women in Business and Young Professionals 2020 is out. The first Young Professionals get-together is going to be tomorrow, actually, from 6 to 8 at Soot Garden, Texas City. It's just casual collaboration. We, you know, kind of introduce ourselves to one another and hang out, play some games, and, you know, just chit-chat and hang out. All right. For YP, it's going to be half casual collaboration and then half educational. So, we're going to have some luncheons that are geared towards young professionals and growth in career or growth in leadership. So one of the things we're actually doing is the DISC testing, which is similar to what happens in leadership. So we go over, our young professionals will take a test online, which is like 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how fast they can work on it. And it will analyze their personality. And we will go over whether a D, I, S, or C, which one, whatever they are, and then how they can use that to work with other people in their in their office place or you know workplace, mm-hmm. and help when you're able to identify how you yourself work and then how others work, you can work better together, and that could help you grow in your career. You know, and as a young professional, 21 to 40, not everybody is set in their either job title or at that same company. You're always looking for growth. You're always looking to better yourself, and so the young professionals especially in 2020, we're going to definitely do some really great luncheons that that do that. So next month in February, we have our first story of success. And we're going to have somebody come in and kind of let, let us know the struggles that they went through as somebody younger and how they overcame a lot of things to get to where they are today in a, pow- in a position of power. Uh, leadership power, power. however you want to, you know. I love it. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I like alliteration, position of power. Um, okay. <laughs> but, uh, you know, stuff like that. So it's something that's kind of inspiring, especially in today when, you know, it's double income households or you're always busy or, you know, having to juggle things and you can kind of be, you're able to relate to another young professional who can tell their story. 
so yeah, so it's going to be a, a half and half of some fun stuff and then some really inspiring and educational stuff. That's so, cool. Yeah. And you can actually go to that one. I can go to that one. You can go to that one. Okay. So that one's really good. I fall into the age bracket you there. You do. You do. <laughs> <laughs> not, not the women in business. And that's for men and women. So you're good. What are you most excited for? I guess in 2020, maybe it's an event, maybe it's the um, you know leadership or the women in business, or there's a specific luncheon or something. <laughs> what are you most excited for this year? So I love my position at the chamber member relations manager and what I get excited is when new members join automatically I get to know them get a, get to know them a little bit more on a personal level but also a professional level and see what I can do to help them but it's been really cool to get to know some of the older members who have been around for a little bit and don't necessarily know me so when they do give a call you know give us a call to ask a question or sign up for something I can kind of introduce myself and then you know I usually say hey can I stop by and meet you and go over some stuff. And it's really rewarding when I get to kind of go say hi and ask, you know, see how I can help them. And a lot of the times, again, with being a chamber member, not not always people understand what being a chamber member is. So it's a lot of fun to kind of open their eyes and see them get excited with how we can help them. So, yeah. yeah. And then, you know, just networking and meeting, yeah. meeting other other folks. It just seems, it makes sense, you know, if you, if you have a business to one, to give back to the community mm -hmm. and we, we were talking about that and all the ways that you know josh and and chapman's does that and then two just to meet who's there and that's the whole thing you know with the chamber people think that it's always shoveling out money and stuff but it's not necessarily that it's volunteering your time or you know as far as giving back to your community you know volunteering your time or even donating toys for you know buy you fest when it comes to the kids activities and you know just stuff like that and then there's also fun events like the banquet and shrimp boil and buy you fest again and there's <laughs> great times for yeah. for growth for personal and business growth with chamber you women business young professionals leadership is great so there's a lot of different things that people can get involved in to grow in every aspect all right so it's 10 54 this is KHEARadio.com, 99.5 FM. We have about five minutes left. Is there anything else that we haven't touched on that Women we still need to do? Women in business. Women in business. Women in business. Next Thursday is our first lunch at Stonehouse Manor. So they're one of our members, and that one's going to be in Webster. We're going to have a, like a New Year lunch, and so it's going to be super fun. They're catering it and taking care of it. And then we're going to kind of do the same thing with women in business. We have some really great lunch spots that we can go and help support our community and give money back into the community. But then we also have some really great speakers coming up. Our charity this year that we're going to focus on is Bay Area Turning Point. So we've been talking a lot with Cad and Tracy and all of them. And so usually, you know, they're going to do a little spiel in April about aware their awareness month. And then in November how we did worked with communities and schools and gathered a whole bunch of stuff for the students over Thanksgiving break. We're going to get some stuff for Bay Area Turning Point for whatever they need those that year. What does Bay Area Turning Point do? Bay Area Turning Point, it helps men, women, and children going through <coughs> sexual and domestic violence who are victims of that. So, And they help, like I said, men, women, and children because it's sexual and domestic violence isn't just geared towards one age group or gender. So, yeah, they're really great. Yeah. And... Do you all kind of pick that, I guess, like every year you mentioned communities and schools was last mm -hmm. year. There will be like a new organization. Yeah. I mean, I've noticed that our our members and women in business are extremely giving and are inspired and motivated by charities or helping people in, in general. So we've just kind of decided to take somebody under our wing once a year. What? You, you said in Webster, but mm -hmm. Stonehouse Manor, I haven't heard of them. So they're a new venue. They just opened up, I want to say last February or March. So they're coming up on a year. So they're a brand new event venue. Okay. So it used to be, it's on Highway 3. It used to be an old like murder mystery dinner thing. And then before that, it was another restaurant. But it's right across the street from a quarter. Is that like Ginia, where Ginia is? Or no, that's, oh, that's 270. No. So if you go 45 North, take a ride on Nass Road 1, right before you hit Highway 3. It's okay. on your left. It's okay. really pretty. And it's what, so like it's Stonehouse Manor and then you'll see like Whataburger and the Hop. 
<laughs> All right. Now you're talking, <laughs> see, now you're speaking my language. Landmarks. I know, landmarks. Yeah, landmarks. <laughs> I know exactly where the hop is, and I know exactly where Whataburger yeah. is. So just go a little bit more towards 45, and you'll see. Yeah, because would you say the quarters or something? Is that? Oh, McWhorter Elementary. Oh, yeah, McWhorter. Yeah, okay, McWhorter I was like, elementary. I don't know, McWhorter yeah. Elementary. The hop, yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I know where the hop is. Um, Heather, is there anything else you would like to share while you're here today? Um, I don't think we talked about, um, so anybody that's interested in um, joining leadership, um, uh, I believe they're going to have the first meeting sometime next month, but you mm-hmm. can contact the chamber uh, to find out. Um, and it's not an obligation. You can just go to that lunch, um, find out what mm-hmm. Leadership Mainland's all about, um, and see if it's something that um, you would like to, to do. All right. Josh, is there anything else you'd like to share about Chapman's or anything at all? Uh, no, I just want to remind you guys, February 18th, uh, reach out to Lauren uh, at the Chamber and make sure you get your tickets to come and uh, learn about social media, how, how that can help you with your business. Is that and a then, Tuesday? I think it's yes. a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday yep. or Thursday. Tuesday. All the Chamber users are going to be on Tuesdays. Tuesdays. Mm-hmm. Cool. And then we, we are going to uh, do a special for Chapman's if you uh, mention Guardi and uh, K-H-E-A, Ooh. you ready? It's, uh, $20 right. off. Uh, anything, $75 or more, you get $20 off. So Cool. Nice. I'll have to remind people about that. So just mention K-H-E-A Radio if you need uh, some work done or maybe even like just want to go say hi. Yeah. yeah. Go say, tell hey, Guardy, K-H-E-A Radio. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You're good. All right. And, uh, well, thank you all for hanging out today. I appreciate you all coming in. Definitely. Thank you. It's thank K-H-E-A you. Radio, 99.5 FM. All right, Facebook. I'll see you guys soon. Y'all be blessed. Have have an amazing day.